Now we have a new project. You'll notice that both the main window and the Solution Explorer have changed. You'll now see code inside the main window. This is the code contained in the Game1.cs file, which is created for you automatically by XNA Game Studio and placed in your content folder. Take a look at the Solution Explorer window. In it, you'll see a tree structure that represents your project. You can see the Game1.cs file here. You'll notice, too, that at the very top of the tree, there is a solution. Every project is part of a solution. A solution may have one or more projects within it. Our solution has one project, represented by this node, underneath the solution node. There are other files as well. Most of these you will not need to modify. We will just be concerned with Game1.cs as a primary code file, but we won't get into coding just yet. The first thing we need to do is add our game assets. The Solution Explorer behaves a lot like a folder structure in Windows. You can add folders and move assets into or out of folders. Creating a folder for our assets is a good idea. It will help keep our assets organized. Start by right-clicking the content icon in the Solution Explorer tree. From the menu, select Add, then New Folder. 2D graphics in a game are commonly called sprites, so name this new subfolder Sprites. At this point, we need to actually have some game content. When making your own game, creating content can be a lengthy process involving using content creation tools like image editors and 3D modeling packages. But, we have the content ready. The previous section instructed you to click the Download Source Code button to unpack a series of content to your computer. If you haven't done that yet, return to the previous section, click Download Source Code, and follow the instructions to get the content. Remember the folder you unpacked the content to and return to this section. Right-click on the new Sprites folder you've created and select Add, then Existing Item. A dialog box will open. The first thing to do is make sure we're looking for the right file type. Click the Files of Type option and select Content Pipeline Files. Now, browse to the location you unpack the assets to from the Beginner's Guide. you will see a group of files that are in .tga format. Hold down Control and click on each one to select them all. Then click Add. The Solution Explorer is updated. Inside the Sprite subfolder are assets from the Beginner's Guide. Note that when you add assets, they are copied into your project folder, not linked from another location.